I think. Yes. And today is the evening broadcast of the April 29, 2015. And let's chat a little bit mm, because mm, yeah, I worked. I over overworked on uh, on the morning broadcast, and uh, and I feel low in energy. So, in any case, uh, I I am so addicted now to channel in its elevated state. I, I wish to experience more of it. I cannot skip it. Uh, so we have Dimitri fixing, who have fixed his camera. So welcome, Dimitri. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I, uh, where from are you? Uh, I'm born in France and I'm living in Texas right now. Ah, all right. Mark. Uh, hey, hi, Jan. Hello, Max. So, uh, Oh, we have one more. Out of a jar. Hey, out of a Well, hello. Out of a? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm New York City. Ah, all right. New York City. Welcome. Uh, today, this morning, we had uh, another light worker from New York City. She, Her name is Curly. Okay. Ah, uh, New York City is huge, but um, just so you know. Did she suppose, suppose to make some intervention with you, or? What do you mean? No, she wasn't supposed to. No, just introduce. That's it. If you want to find each other, you are welcome. If you don't, that's fine as well. All right. Um. Uh, I guess I will, um, yeah, the announcements are, you can find us on humancolony.org. My email is max at humancolony.org. I invite donations and I offer private sessions and I offer also computer tune-up using mainstream free where I will connect to your computer and clean it from junk and tune it up so it works normally if, you, if your computer is out of whack. All right. Um, I will. I will go now. I will bring uh, Rojo, and I will. I intend to do a short, slow pace channeling just to chat with you guys, and we'll see what comes through. Um, I have to remind it. I'm present during the channeling. It's co-creation of me, and Rojo, and um, and you. Your presence and your questions, your energy are. As I see, it's a huge part of the co-creation. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be able... Speaking to a blank screen would be completely different. All right. Goodbye. I will see you soon. Ah. Hello. Ah. Rojo here. Partly, but I'm coming through. Ah. All right. Ah. Dimitri. Yes, Let's how are meet you? you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What brings you here? What brings me here? Maybe you. Yes. <laughs> ah, what's your interest? How did you find this interaction? Uh, mm. Two years ago, I, were, I found Basha online. And yes. Like, and like a week ago, I just found Max, and so I just was interesting and interested to what he's doing, and so that's why that I'm here today. Wonderful, thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful, yes. Ah, uh, it's a pleasure to speak. Finally, speak to you voice to voice and see your face. <laughs> Thank you what's very much. your what's your highest excitement these days okay. other than watching channelings <laughs> that maybe that <laughs> I try to find who I am ah interesting yeah, yeah always... and every day you find something new Almost every day, yeah. I know myself better, yeah. 
because with all this negativity, we just buy into it, so it, we are not our true ourselves. So sometimes it's hard to come back and remembering who you are. Ah. What do you like? What's your favorite things? What is your what are your talents? My talents? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know yet, I guess. Ah. I'm still looking what? for what I love to do. What do you like? What do you hate? Hate, uh, What I like? I like. I'm a massage therapist. I like. I did some Reiki stuff also. But you I said Reiki? Yes. Yes. But I think I um yes. I have a lack of confidence. I don't trust myself, so I don't believe in myself so much. So all these things I'm doing, I'm not finishing it. It's like uh, it's good for a certain time, and after I have to do something else because I don't think I can bring it more than that. Ah, as massage therapist, you may be in a unique position of not only doing therapy, but offering your clients an advice, chatting with them, establishing a slight relationships, temporary, slight, easy relationships. Lots of people come through you. Uh, one thing you might want to do is an intention to open them up except those who don't want to be opened up. You have to respect their yes. their wishes. Some people get really upset when you play with their energies. Although you are a healer, Oh, okay. They might still want to be very closed and have the energy the standard way. So, if you feel, I guess, if you ask yourself in your heart, in your mind, in your intuition, if you really want to ask them, some people are obviously wanting to go farther and some people are obviously closed. But those where you are not sure, you might want to ask. Okay. And then opening and rebalancing the energies. You see when you do massage you also are doing energy healing as well. The fact yeah. that you add physicality doesn't subtract the energetic healing. Does not. Except Sometimes when you do energetic healing, you sense <clears throat> the very slight energies, very elusive energy. You might call them thin energies, thin energies. And when you do massage, you have so much sensation on your nerves, you miss this slight thin energies. So, it's up to you what to do, but sometimes it helps to do before you start to do the scan. And then when you do the two interruptions, one hand keep doing massage and second does the scan. And after you're done, you do some sort of little of energy work, if they don't mind, if they don't get spooked. And that helps you as well because you are mm, becoming a channel to higher energies. It brings you up as well. Ah, what a wonderful job to be a massage therapist. Mm. I wish to be a massage therapist.
In a way, I am, but without physicality. <laughs> yeah, massaging your imagination, that's what I'm doing. <sighs> yeah, yes, please con yes, please mm -hmm. con con continue. What do you think? What do I think? I think I will prefer doing Reiki than massage because I can feel more the energy with my hands. I'm sorry, your microphone is muffled. Okay. Uh, if you have access to an, AU, to an USB microphone, get one. They are less muffled. Okay. Can you say the same thing again? Something you said about okay. energy. Uh, I can think, I can feel more the energy with my hands, with the yes. hands. But yes. I don't know if I have to go more on the Reiki part or the massage part or maybe doing both at the same time. Be better for me. It was a statement, right? You didn't ask me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes. So I'm still looking for what I prefer the most, if it's Reiki or massage or make a mix of both. Uh, I am absolutely sure that there is tons more clients who want simple massage than Reiki. Um, if I were you, I would stay with massage. Yes. You can still do some of the energy healing. You don't have to completely subscribe and, and switch. Yeah, just because of practical reasons for so for the flow of mm, everything, the patience, the money, the energy. Massage is better, more, how would you say, in more demand. Now, you become awakened and enlightened and know much more about the nature of reality, yes. I guess you are tempted to speak, you are tempted to speak to your patients about that or not? Yes, but I, you know, sometimes for some clients, it, you know, it's hard to tell them that they can be healed by energy instead of massage because they want something physical, not like spiritual. Ah, I see. It's like they put a barrier between them and the energy field. It's like it's... Yes, yes, absolutely. That's a very <laughs> real barrier. If they, if they mm, reject the offer of energy healing strongly, if they declare that they don't believe. Yes. The whole system is blocked not only with physical ethereal energy, but there is also a, an additional permission blockage. Basically, they are protected from that. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so you can feel that they are like, like colder and it's just like it's like you cannot feel anything, just like someone, uh, you can rub anything, like a couch or a wall, it doesn't matter, it feels the same. <laughs> I would suggest interaction and joyful, creative interaction with jokes where you don't even go into esoteric topics, you remain with your massage things, but you establish a feedback, an interaction, how do you feel, how does that feel, how about we do that, how about we do that, and would you like to be open here, I see the blockage, and because you're already enlightened, and you have the feeling and understanding, you open them up, open them up, 
beat a bit by a bit. Do you want to be take this blockage taken off? I feel it's tough. Okay, all right. And I see the blockage here. And how is your... And then you continue interaction. And because you know all that stuff, you just speak on their level and try to open them up, but offer, and if they reject, you stay put, stay away. But if they take it, you just go on their level it's one step at a time. It might be boring, but it might be rewarding as well, especially with the returning clients. They might just take time and they're awakening. They are bombarded by four-dimensional energy. They are bombarded by messages from us and messages of enlightenment. They are here to awaken. Many will awaken. Many are awakening. And everyone is doing that in their own way. Some say, I don't believe, but they start opening up to nature, to art, to whatever, to play, to laugh, to anything, to stand-up comedy, to improvisations. There are many ways of awakening. And you are in a great position to be of service. Um, and you, have, you might want to adjust to everyone's level. But as you feel that you are of service, it might just energize your daily work. I think very few people are in such lucky position where they can really contribute to ascension that much. I am really jealous of you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, unless you find something even more exciting. But that, to me, sounds like the most exciting thing ever. Yes. People come to you and you can massage their mind because the mind is connected to everything. You can massage their mind with your hands, through nerves, through energies, and with you talking to them. And because you already opened up and awakened in many ways, even if you translate it to that language, their language, it will still be a valuable progress for them. Yes. And you know what? No, I me. don't know if you enjoy that. Some of their massage therapists, doctors, hairdressers, they're great connectors. They are connected to hundreds of people and they connect them each other. They become hubs. I don't know if you enjoy that, but being hub is another great mission. Yes, for a light worker. Yes. That's good. Yeah, I yeah, have just to adjust myself to accept people how they are, that's what I figured out, and yeah, accept and put myself to their level, and some, uh, it's hard sometimes because I just learn about that, so, and it feels good to understand them at their level because otherwise you try to put them at your level, but it doesn't work, you just like you cannot stay with them because you, they are not vibrating with you. So if you start and like I call that lower your vibration to be in the same vibration than them, so like that you can understand them better and understand you better too. Of course, yes. But, of course, but they came to you, so there is already a connection. They came to you because they needed that. They needed massage. They knew it's it's necessary for their well-being. And they're interested in becoming better, improving the health. 
So you at least could start conversation talking about your profession, their muscles, their bones, their health. Health is something which unites many of you and they want their health to improve. So just the conversation of health, about health opens up a lot of paths for you. It's a good conversation starter. And learn more about your area of health, biology, energy, healing, chiropractic stuff. That is amazing knowledge, amazing knowledge. And some of that is actually very entertaining and interesting to discuss with your patient because they will discover many things they never knew and after they learn about them they become excited and it's very interesting. Mm, that's how we work. Interesting. You could be a teacher if you wish. Yes. Ah. Let me see if we have more. Hello. Hey, Carissa. Mm, you're muted. Oh, hey, I'm sorry Atava. about that. Ah, oh, Carissa. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Nice to hear your voice. That was nice mm. to talk to you as well. Mm. A little nervous, but... Yeah. Oh, nervous. Huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, I am nervous too. Oh, don't be. Uh, I'm nervous sort of, sort of because mm, Max is tired. Oh. But he wanted that session anyway, so we played well. Oh, yeah, it was <sighs> nice to meet you. Uh, let me send you some image. Let me grab it. An image of the bird, rainbow bird. Uh, how do you call it? Picking the bird's peaks, right? Picking rainbow seeds from a uh, rainbow plate. <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're the talking rainbow about. Chicken, eating rainbow seeds and laying rainbow eggs. <laughs> 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 All right. So nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous. Sorry, it's my first hangout. Interesting. Oh yes, no problem. I had my first hangout very recently. <laughs> now I'm hanging out like a pro. Yeah, you sure are. Not really. I'm learning. I'm learning. Well, a couple days ago, I had I had a hangout where. Not nobody wanted to speak. I was sort of stuck. Max was stuck, and the audience was sort of uninterested. Hmm. Uh -huh. And I wasn't smart enough to stop. And Max wasn't smart enough to stop. So that was dragging. All right. So how did you find us? Actually, I've been what watching. Your path? Um, Oh, I've been watching your channel for a while, and I decided that by intuition just to join and see what happens. Ah, ah. who is your favorite mm, alien? Oh, God, that's Except a hard one. me. <laughs> oh, I love you all. You all have a very interesting perspective, so it's ah, very nice. But um, Of course. You're one of my yeah, favorites that, you have a sense of humor. That question was politically incorrect. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that was green the energy coming through, but uh, Roja is still here. <laughs> All right. So, what was your path of awakening, if you like to discuss that? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, sorry if I'm a little nervous, guys. Um, no, you don't sound nervous at all. Okay, thank you. Uh, my path of awakening. Um, it's been about two years, and I'm in the process of doing my DNA at the moment. Um, it's been a kind of a weird path. I started with Wicca, and I kind of 
I still do a bit of it, but not a huge, huge amount. And now I'm just kind of doing um, spirituality and trying to connect with ETs and talking to you and taking a leap of faith. A leap of faith. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You mentioned Wicca, right? Yeah, Wicca. Wicca. Tell me more. What is this? Um, I started. It's about like practical earth magic, like ah. um, going into nature and just taking care of it and loving and appreciating appreciating yourself. And I just did a little bit of it. Do you hug trees? <laughs> Oh, I have a couple times, but uh, not very recently. <laughs> have you tried doing Reiki on trees? No, I haven't, but um, I've had a, f a few ideas, but... <laughs> uh, are you... <sighs> yes, mm, yes. One thing I would suggest... Mm -hmm. A meditation, standing bare feet in a warm, natural stream. <laughs> it's hard to find wonderful. a warm, natural stream in the spring, but be, no, not not too cold, I would say. Not too cold. <laughs> yes. And especially it's great when the sunshine reflects in the stream. And these reflections play on your energies. Yeah. Especially it's great because the water is going through and it's always new. And you connect to the air and to the water going through, flowing through, touching your feet. And the stones underneath. All three phases which make you up. All four phases which make you up, the water, the air, the stone, and the light. Okay, well, thank you for your suggestion. I shall have to try that. Of course, of course. Thank you. Any questions? Did you bring any questions? If not, that would be just fine. Um, I actually just kind of wanted to listen in and see if I felt comfortable enough to talk, but it's nice to be put oh, on the spot. Sure. <laughs> But, um, Any sharings you brought? Anything you wanted to share? Um, I guess just to say hello to everybody and sending you my love ah, and very nice sure. to meet all of you and it's just a, it's a pleasure. Ah, hello I to do, you as well. Oh, thank you. I do have a question though. Ah. Um, give me a sec here. Um, no the question problem. is, uh, have you visited me before? Uh, some, of, some of us did, yes. Okay. Not me personally, yes. Okay, well, thank you for that. It makes a lot of sense. Just Yes. Do you know what... Um, beings visit me the most because I do feel their presence quite a bit the last few nights. Um, unfortunately, I don't have access to this information, but my <laughs> just guess would be Pleiadians, Yael, and Arcturians. Not all together, but in in different times. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time and thank answering my questions. Oh, my time is all yours. <laughs> it was such a pleasure to Did meet you. Did you have any dreams recently uh, which you remembered? Yes, I do. I, I dream quite often and I have a journal. Ah. So, um, my recent wow. one, uh, from what I can remember, it was on a spaceship and there was a big green holographic field and there was a small little white dog in the field with me and that's all I could remember. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I've, it's one of my less detailed dreams, but... Ah. I usually get the answers to your dreams in between sessions. I might come back with any additional insights later. That would thank be you great. for sharing. Yeah, oh, you're you. very welcome. Thank you. It's my pleasure to talk to you. Oh, the pleasure is mine. And we all welcome you to to our hangouts. Oh, thank you. It's a great fun to communicate and co-create together. Sometimes it is, um, yeah, it's very creative. Sometimes it flows really well. Like this morning, it was uh, such a pleasure. Now, I intentionally keep it quiet. We just chat. It's easy chat. Exactly. I, I should, shouldn't be so nervous. I... Oh, nervous, yeah, public speaking, being judged. Actually, it is, it is by itself hmm, an art. It is by itself an energy exercise because whatever you said now is recorded and mm -hmm, hundreds, just a couple hundreds of people will listen. Nothing special, but yes, get used to that. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Well, and Thank most you. of these people are nice. They are very forgiving and they understand. It's easy, easy. Yes. Uh, anybody has any questions? Hmm, I have a new face. Hi. Hello oh, go there. ahead, Hayan. We have Hayan and Monica. Mm, who wants to go first? Could I go because I have to work soon? Sure. Oh, of yeah. course. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. So, first of all, I would like to share that uh, I also, the first time I joined, I was very nervous. And when I felt the love coming through the entity, it calmed me down. But, uh, and it doesn't matter, it, at that time, it didn't matter if it was millions of subscribers or one subscriber. Uh, it is just a, something in your head that makes you, because it's live, you're, you're stepping out on the internet. And yeah, after the first time, it always it 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 disappear after one time. So I wanted to put that out there. And I would like to say to man that I I had a lot of things to say actually. I drum. Okay, thank you. Yes. I drum. Yes. And I am taking up my drums really much lately. It is very interesting. I am also on the verge of channeling. I have done it a couple of times. And this is why I am here, because I, I see that Max is very analytical. And I too have that mind, so I am fascinated that to see how Max overcame that. Because I feel that in myself as well. So therefore, I'm here and I'm very interested in, in this channeling. Oh dear, Ryan, thank you much for sharing, yes. Mm, so many things to share with you. I will maybe do one. Mm. You see, with all analytical things, drumming is performance things where you can easily improvise. Improvisation is where we can come and gently direct. 
gently contribute because when you improvise you you channel the energies from other dimensions through your higher self through the spiritual world you bring it to this 3D reality so improvisation is where we could easily blend in what's that word when you flow yes yes that is a word entangle when we entangle our energies and our messages so when you channel improvise improvise and we will easier get in when you improvise when you let it just improvise let it play with words play with words throw them up and we'll catch them and put them in order how about that yes well I totally understand especially with the drumming euphemism and improvise wonderful and also these drumming beat especially the lower frequency of the sound big drums are very conducive to channeling energies, very conducive to shamanic energies. They play well with your brain patterns and brain patterns of others. So, as you channel, hear them. You might drum right before with a big drum to induce the altered state, elevated state of consciousness where you come closer to us and we come closer to you, right? Yes. Mm. How about the high tones? I feel my perspective on drumming is that it, it contains all vibrations, the lowest and the highest. It is... Uh, all because you can go very low and you can go very high in the high tones whatever it's it's very personal whatever brings you to that state it can be symbolic it can be physical whatever feels great you need to get to the state of allowance and become an open channel, an altered state, elevated state, whatever makes you happy, whatever give, may, gives you the freedom of connecting to us, to your higher self, whatever, yes. I was talking more about physiological reaction, but other than the physiological, there is much more, there is musical reaction, there is symbolic reaction. Yes. 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 Yeah, and I was only talking general about drumming in the instrument in general. But I will uh, definitely take that in, and I will use try try that permission slip, and Absolutely. use the bass of the drum and uh, play with that before channeling. See what happens. Thank you. I'm starting to wrap up, so I go. I have to switch to Monica and hi. Thank you, hi Jan, and hi Monica. Thank you and goodbye. Hello, Monica. I cannot hear you. Are you there? Mm, you stepped out, or you are disconnected? Anyone else has any questions, messages, sharings before we wrap up? Yeah, yeah. As we are in inside the instrument, musical instrument, I can ask you something. Uh, near the end of uh, 2012, uh, I just play guitar for fun, and uh, in the improvisation. Uh, I feel like be inside the dense white space, like uh, 
I just play the side the note and don't really care where it what that sound I just uh, like inside a beam of the light white white light bright yes this what is just full connection or mm -hmm. That is not unusual. That is that effect even has some scientific name which I don't know or don't remember. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, most likely you shifted in an altered state, altered alternate. Mm -hmm. Dimension, which doesn't necessarily have to be four dimension. It could be just altered dimension, alternative dimension. You might have connected to certain energies, and how did it feel? Uh, I have feeling to have uh, my head up a little bit. Like, uh, like attracted by the by the hubs. Uh, I I just I just follow the flow. I don't really uh, feel to uh, to think uh, about anything. Ah. Mm. I have a sensation that you are very much out of, uh, how do you say, more into higher dimensions, bubble realities, higher levels of vibration, and that you're, you're, you don't need much help to get even higher. You're already there. That's my sensation. That. Mm, that could be just a tool to to get to other realities and other states of consciousness. It is what we that just you might you might benefit from grounding and talking, communicating to other people here here in this reality, but. Say, say, having said that, music is a great way to communicate with people and to socialize. So, I welcome your musical inclinations. And when you do music, of course, raising up yourself and raising up everyone else is a great pleasure and it's very admirable. I guess that would be my overall take on what you said. Take on what? Yes, the idea is of service. Yes, the idea is of service. Idea of the purpose. What is the purpose? Yes, you experienced something. You experienced altered, alternate reality. It's up to you. It's your choice what to do with that skill. You are able to change the reality. You're able to shift. So you are able to shift, and music is just a tool to shift. In what do same, you do with this? Right. What do you do with this? Yes. In in the same way, uh, with the other story I tell you uh, a few days ago about the the woman in the store. Yes, I remember. Yes. I still am thinking about this story. I might come up later with something, but what I'm saying, you are able to shift. Now it's your choice what to do with this ability to shift realities. It's okay. your choice. You have to figure it out. And the purpose should go might go first. When you have a purpose, the tool becomes handy. And the purpose, of course, we give it to you, you know it by yourself, help humanity to ascend. 
individually, on local level, on global level, help. And the whole path, how you play with that idea is up to you. How do you, do you want to participate? How do you want to participate? How do you want personally to ascend, personally go to next level? That is a general idea, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is what's the indicator of I'm on the track of use this post capacity and I'm not necessarily on the track of use it? What is uh, I can say the the, the, the the starter of the or the, the button which activate that more? Um, I'm sorry, you. I I I don't understand your question. What is the indicator? I'm I'm I am on direction of the use this capacity, or I'm not. Or I'm not in this direction to use. Because if if I just play for fun, if I that that situation happen only one time on on one hundred time I do it, and I don't necessarily know what exactly I, what I do to to open or just close keep close this thing. I see. Mm. All right, your question is, if that happens just once, how do you know where to go and what to play with? Mm. Yeah, what is the indicator? I'm, I am I am on the track to use it or I'm not, uh, or I'm off of the track to use it. That's so general question. Uh, let's be more specific. You start with the purpose. You start with choice. You decide what's your highest excitement. Where do you want to go? What feels good? Where do you? Where can you be of service? Where you can step in the flow of energies and change these energies in a positive way? That's just a suggestion. But you ask how you can find mm, the next step. How do you can you play with these energies? So the suggestion is to choose first. Make a choice first. Make a leap of faith and say, I want to go in the direction this because it feels better at the moment. And you start going. You experiment. The answer is you either have to intuit it, to guess it, to meditate and guess it right, or you do it empirically. You just choose whatever and try and feel how it goes. So empirically choose it. Mm -hmm. And as you get there, as you go there, you feel how it feels. If it feels good, you keep going. And as you exercise yourself in this direction, you get experience and you feel, does it feel good? Does it, mm, is it easier? What tools can I use? So. It's through the law of attraction. As you take on yourself a mission, okay. the reality brings you the tools and not other way around. So you already know you have ability to shift. You have you already know you can perceive some transdimensional things. So yeah. now you need to pick the direction. We're not peak, pick the direction and and try going there and see how it feels and how much of support from the creation do you get. If everything supports you, if your spirit guides and every angel cheers, yes, go, go, Mark, that's a good direction, then you're on the right way. If okay. everything goes against you, if there is a stumbling block everywhere and it's not interesting to you to go over these stumbling blocks, change your direction. Uh, highest Excitement can change from moment to moment. You be you are being guided through a series of lessons which you picked before incarnation. It is a general topics which you want to explore, like loneliness, 
uh, being dependent, being independent, being in a conflict, being in that position, in that position. So the whole topics are already pre-chosen by you. Now your higher self and your spirit guides are pushing gently you towards these lessons. But your main thing is to make choices. You are prompted, pushed to make choices. And as you make them, you usually don't have enough information. So you have to make a leap of faith and choose something and explore it. And mm, it's up to you how to deal with the obstacles. You can go around or you can turn back, you can choose a direction. But that idea of highest excitement is that what feels good is usually where you are supposed to go, where your higher self mm, sends you, sends you or suggests you should go. So get used to listen to your inner voice and where does it tell you to go. Don't be that. You're not stubborn. Don't be stubborn. You're not. But get least listen to what your inner vibration tells you. You have it, that inner vibration. It's quite strong, actually. You emanate it. Yeah, so I feel it. I feel this. Become I feel friendly this. with it. Become friendly with it. Yes. Mm. How do you feel about Orion energy? I don't know. I don't. I never really search about that. Yeah, I explore that. Mm. It's just a thought. I don't know, really. Just a thought. Explore the idea of Orion. Bibliotheca Pleiades is a good starting point. Don't get obsessed with negativity, which is uh, their conspiracies and stuff. But mm, the whole idea, general idea of Orion is interesting. OK. Can mm. I just quick before you wrap? Of course, yes. Another one. Uh, near. I think it's around the summer 2013. I just need to have to talk with someone and I just feel to be pushed on the side and be inside something bigger is my high self. Oh, so there was a person which was bigger than you? Yeah, I feel like to be kind inside. Like of, kind of invisible it's entity? Like, it's like if my ego was pushed push away of, of me and and feel I'm bigger, to be bigger, and the answer don't I come from my head, but come from my heart chakra, like a spark. Very interesting. So the spark came out of you. What, what, what did you say about the ego? It's like if my, maybe me or my you put, put on, on, the start, on the side, mm -hmm. and like be Somebody inside. Pushed you, pushed you yeah. off the way. Yeah. When you were talking to someone. And be inside something bigger than me and, and the same be this the same this this thing too. So and the why do you idea. think it would be your high why do you think it would be your higher self? Very interesting. So the spark came out of you. what, what did you say about the ego? ego? Is it like if my maybe me or my you put put on on the side on the side? Mm -hmm. I muted. Uh, it was uh, feedback from uh, someone starting at L. Yes, very interesting. I don't know. Uh, higher self is not very physical and not physical at all. It's more like an idea. It's okay. The story about higher self is that the are you there mark are you there yeah yeah good all right so you have incarnations yeah. one after another and so on and this can go for tens and hundreds of incarnations at some point you come to the level of being very experienced, very balanced, very knowledgeable, 
and you're ready to go to the next bigger level. You leave the whole construct of this incarnational world altogether, of this universe, you go to the next level, which is different. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at that point, before you leave this incarnational cycle to the next level, that very smart being who knows all the past incarnation, the entity which is still you, mm -hmm. uh, that being is served to higher self, is serving as higher self to all its previous incarnations. That's a simplistic explanation what how can you perceive higher self? Somebody very smart, but still you. You your future self. Another yeah, word I understand is your this. future self. Yes. So it's unlikely be it would be unlikely that higher self would come down, physicalize and push you aside. Doesn't sound like what they do. They do different things. They might hire someone, invite someone, but, but it's... The, uh, the, the, co the, the consequence was positive. The thing is, you just to know what that could be, or it just me in the full, uh, complete full alignment with what I wanted this moment. Oh, it was your creation. That's what you say. You wanted to be that person. I, okay, I just... just just want to know to verify what is is it uh, exactly? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I can only guess. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. What make it make what make make give you the possibility or not to connect to the information? What what give uh, what give you or the opportunity to connect to this this kind of information? I understand the question. I am blanking on that. I will have to take time off. We meet quite often. I might come with more answers later. Right now, I'm blank. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just some, I, I, yes. The the is just some, some some is just what gives you the possibility is is what is the. Is 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 my limit? Is the limit of the channel channel or um, give you the 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 connection or not to this this thing? Um, I just need to wrap up, and my uh, my presence here is minimized at the moment. Okay, okay. I'm losing the <laughs> the connection. Hmm. Perfect. But I still wish you. Hmm. I still wish you much luck and send you my blessings. Yes, you come with very interesting stories with which puzzle me. Thank you for that. But discussing them and exploring them is a pleasure. I apologize to everyone. I have to leave now. Okay. I send you all my blessings. Mm. Be in light. Enjoy this life. Enjoy the ride. Sometimes I know you write to us. You want to be taken out of this plot. You want it to be. You want it. You want to be taken off the surface and be with us. We appreciate the sentiment. Physically, yes, you could go, but you are in such unique position to be playing down on the ground. You wanted that very badly as a spirit and was given that chance. Many of you God, wonderful alien infusions, you are unique hybrids, and your best application of your genetic and spiritual and experiential talents would be down on the surface. We are jealous in many ways to your 
opportunities, abilities, and just the challenge you experience. We are proud of you. I we understand. I understand. It could feel hard to be alone and separated. But you are not alone. We are here for you. And now there is a whole grid of light workers which sparkles with energy wanting, desiring to lead up very brightly. The grid is already being formed surrounding the earth. Be part of this grid. Be ready to shine. Start shining. Make a choice to shine no matter what. It could be tough, yes, but it could be also very rewarding to be part of the greed which brings up the ascension. Think of yourself as a bright beacon attracting others and linking with others and creating this wonderful greed of awakening. Much energy and strength to you, love to you. Feel the presence of the creation. Feel the presence of the source. Feel the energy pouring onto you. Open yourself as a funnel to this energy and it will come. Amen. Привет, господа, здравствуйте. <coughs> а, как вы поживаете? Hello, everybody. Are you still here? Hey, Max. Hi, Max. All right, very Max. good. Hey, Faye. Hey, we have Atava, Carissa, Dimitri, Faye, uh, Mark, Keith. I never met Keith. Loves the mice. Loves the mice. And Alexander. Mm, hello, everybody. Thank you for offering your presence and thank you for coming. Um, we will continue till next time. You can uh, reach us through humancolony.org. You can write to me, max at humancolony.org. Uh, find us on the Hukala uh, community on Google Plus and link to us. Mm link to each other, find your friends and link to each other. Um, did, you, did you have any your, Say again? Did you have any comment about your experience tonight and how you feel? Oh, actually I feel felt waves of energy now I feel elevated. The last download was pretty pleasant. Okay, did yeah. you have discover something new? in the way you interact uh, in the channel? It's, it's hard to describe actually, yes. Um, yeah, uh, I discovered this morning, I overworked. Uh, it was great, it sparkled, there was great creation, but I was exhausted, so I have to do much shorter channeling. So I, I'm not designed to... Some people can do it longer, Jim is great, I, I just can't. I know myself, I. I can do one hour, one hour and a half. When I go okay. over an hour and a half, I'm I'm screwed. I was really sick. Did you? So that's what I discovered. I. Did but you uh, but I. Yes. Did you want ask to someone to tell you the time is near to to close sometime in the one new channel? Um. Yeah, that would be handy. Like when we reach hour and a half, I start should start wrapping up. That would be handy. Thank you for offering. Yeah, great help. Any comment from a uh, other user? Yes, please go ahead. Yes, that was really lovely. I enjoyed that. Oh, thank you. And who was speaking? Atava. Atava, thank you. 
All right. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, till next time. Join us next time. It was okay. pleasure and much love. Uh, have a good, wonderful evening. You also. Thank you so much. Take Goodbye. care.